Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to make some smothered turkey wings, southern style smothered turkey wings. So I figured it was time for us to start getting ready for the fall and for the winter with some comfort food. So why not start off with some good old smothered turkey wings over some white rice and whatever vegetable of your choice. So I'm going to run down everything that I have for you here so we can get this started. I have some clean and dry padded turkey wings I got about a whole onion here but I separated because some I'm going to be using for seasoning for the turkey wings and the rest I'm going to be using for the, the gravy so here I have three cloves of crushed garlic that I crushed in my garlic press and here are the onions some red pepper about a quarter of each right here and the green pepper then the rest of the uh, the onion so in total like I said it's one onion and then these pieces here that I julienned and cut in half are going to be for the gravy. So these back here, the onions and the red and green pepper are going to be for the gravy as well as the garlic. So let's get started. So what I like to do with my wings is first coat them with some melted butter. Now it doesn't matter if you're going to use salted or unsalted butter. Now the melted butter is just going to help with the browning of the wings and also the flavor. I like to do this whenever I bake chicken as well. It's normally good to coat your meats in um, some kind of fatty oil. You can also use vegetable oil too before you bake them. Just gives it a better flavor. And it also allows for the seasoning to stick to it a whole lot better. And it gives it a much better golden color when it's completed, you know, after being baked. So this is basically what I got going on here. I just want to make sure that this butter is mixed all the way through. And then I'll start adding the seasonings. Now with the seasonings, I don't have an exact measurement for that because, you know, everybody doesn't like... Um, you know something or as much as of something so with this is gonna kindly kind of be up to you guys to uh, determine exactly how much you want to use and what you want to use but I'm gonna go you know with a basic seasoning today so I'm gonna start off with some black pepper and I want to make sure I get enough for that and if I don't I'll just be adding some more and guys also Right here, it's going to be looking like a lot because it's all in one spot, but trust me, it's not. Some garlic powder. Onion powder. I'm going to be using seasoning salt. I'm actually going to be using two seasoning salts because they both give off a different flavor and work great together. Okay, it looks like a lot, guys, but it's definitely not. And I'm going to go in with a little Tony Sacheris with uh, the Creole seasoning. Just a little, not much. I'm not trying to change the flavor that much, but this pairs well with this... Uh, Just a little of that. And last but not least, some paprika. If you guys like using smoked paprika, or if that's all you have on hand, then feel free to use that. But me, I'm gonna use, whoa, some uh, regular paprika if it ever comes out. Mm, 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 mm. Okay, that should do for now. So I'm just gonna give this a quick mix. Make sure everything is evenly coated. 
in season. You guys, make sure uh, your ovens are preheated to at least like 350 degrees so that we can bake these. And I will be baking these for about an hour and a half before I take the, uh, the foil cover off to let them get brown. And in between, we'll be making a homemade onion gravy with uh, peppers to go over these fabulous turkey wings that we'll be baking. Telling you guys that butter, or even if you use just some vegetable oil, it definitely makes a difference when you are baking like turkey wings or chicken. Trust me, the flavor changes. It definitely enhances the flavor. And on top of, you know, helping it with the browning of the color and it keeps the meat moist because it has, you know, a coating on it and it doesn't dry out very easily, especially when you, you know, because turkey wings, they don't give off a lot of uh, liquid. There isn't much juice to work with. So, you know, coating it in like some butter or um, melted butter would definitely do. So I'm going to add a little bit of seasoning salt to this mix. Don't judge me, don't judge me, but I can kind of see, you know, what I need here. And I'm working with one hand to mix because I need one to stay dry and clean just in case if I have to add, you know, seasoning. I'm definitely not, definitely not gonna, you know, touch anything of mine after handling any meat, raw meat. Okay, guys, so that looks wonderful to me. So, what I'm going to do now is set these aside and get our pan ready so that we can uh, layer these guys out. And I will be right back. Okay, so I got my pan ready, my veggies ready, and my wings are uh, seasoned to perfection. So we're going to get this started. So I'm going to layer the bottom of this with just some onions. Some of the peppers. You guys, it doesn't matter how you cut these. You know, it doesn't have to be, you know, all neat and stuff like that. You no need for a pretty show because these are going to just cook down and become nothing. So that's it with that. So I'm going to start layering these. onto this bed of vegetables and I'm also going to put some on top so this is going to be a very flavorful pan of turkey wings that we are making here some southern smothered turkey wings I got one more to fit in let's see mm, mm, mm. just don't want to waste this season I'm sorry guys. <laughs> okay, that looks nice to me. All right, let's squeeze this other guy in here. All right, so that doesn't look bad. All right, so that looks nice to me. So I'm going to use my other hand to top it off with the rest of the onions. Ah, one got away, one got away. That's all good. I think we have enough to cover anyway. All right, let me get the rest of these green peppers. So guys, I already have my oven preheating to um, 350 degrees. And these guys are ready to go into the oven so that they can be cooked. So let me get rid of these gloves so that we can cover this. Okay, so I'm gonna place these in the oven for about an hour and a half. 
If I need to go longer, then I will, but most likely I won't. And I will be back for these when it's time to uh, uncover. But for now, I want to get the gravy started, but I'm not going to start it too early because I don't want it to just sit there and, and continue to get, uh, you know, too thick because I will have to keep adding liquid to it. So when this is close to, you know, getting ready, when it's right before our time to brown them up after the hour and a half, I'll start the gravy so that it can be, you know, fresh and at its best consistency, or well, the consistency that I want it to be at. And uh, we'll go from there. But the remainder of these vegetables is what I'm gonna be using for the gravy along with some, uh, some seasonings, some of what I've already used. So, all right, so I'm gonna pop these in the oven, guys. And I'm gonna sanitize my area since I was working with some raw meat. And I will be right back. Okay guys, so it is time to check these wings out. They have been in the oven on 350 degrees bacon for about an hour and a half. So this is very hot right now. So let's give these a look and see if it's time for us to let these start browning. Woo wee! Look at that steam. Let me just move this. And I say yes. It is time to let these guys start browning up and it did give us a little bit of juice so what i am going to do is i have about a cup of uh chicken stock here i'm going to add that uh turkey juice to uh this cup here this is going to be on reserve for our gravy so i'm going to do that right now and then put these back in the oven so that they can continue to brown up all right so i can actually just do that right now let me not burn myself <laughs> all right so let's not let that go to waste all right you know what let me let you guys see exactly what i'm doing okay so there we go sorry for all the shaking just trying to adjust here so i can let you guys see what i'm doing okay so like i said i'm going to be pouring this uh turkey juice off into this chicken stock that I have on reserve, which is about a cup, and this is gonna be for our gravy. And I'm also gonna leave some behind because I don't want these to get dried out in the process of browning. So I'm gonna leave just a little bit of that juice. Ain't these boys pretty, yeah. All right, so I'm gonna place these back in the oven. So with that extra added liquid, we have about, let's look, let's look, let's take a look. Oh, wow, we have about one and three fourths cup of uh, liquid for our gravy. So I'm gonna put these in the oven, like I said, sorry to keep repeating myself, and I will be right back so we can start this gravy. It's gravy time, guys. So I'm gonna go in with a half a stick of butter. And to that butter, I'm also going to be adding about maybe three tablespoons of vegetable oil. I like to do the mixture of fats so that this can, you know, come out perfect and flavorful and the consistency is, is you know, even better when you use two different types of fats. So I'm gonna let this melt and mix up. Then I'll add the flour. I already know this gravy is gonna be amazing. So guys, I'm gonna let this melt and I'll come back when it's completely melted and it's time to add the flour. Okay, so this butter is completely melted along with uh, the vegetable oil that I have it mixed with. So this is about ready for the flour. Honestly, so this is about ready. I'm gonna throw a few onions in, not all of them. I just wanna flavor the oil and the butter. We're gonna get that going, just to give a little flavor. And the rest of the onions, I'll add later on with the peppers. Doing it this way is basically layering your flavors so your gravy will come out perfect and flavorful. So right now is a perfect time for me to add that flour so we can create our roux.
So that's about a tablespoon and a half. This is a rather large spoon. So I will be adding probably one more just to see where I'm at. Now when you're making a roux, it's supposed to be equal parts of fat and flour. So we're going to stir this around as is until this becomes the color that you know that you would like it to be. And usually having to do it this way takes anywhere from like 15 to 20 minutes. If you're making a darker gravy, then the longer you're going to have to um, stir this mixture together while you're roux. So I'm going to be doing this for a little bit, guys. So as this gets darker, I will come back because I don't want to keep you guys waiting. You probably don't want to watch this process, but I'll definitely keep you informed of the steps of how to get your gravy perfect. So I will be right back when it gets a little darker, like I said. Okay, guys, so this is what it's looking like about eight minutes in. And off camera, I did add a few of the red and green pepper just to get this roux infused with the, uh, the pepper flavor along with the onions. And at this point now, it did get a little bit darker. So I'm gonna be flavoring it now by adding a little bit of seasonings, mostly the powders, but the salt I'm gonna go uh, step by step because I don't want to have too much salt into the, uh, the gravy because we're already gonna get some of the flavor from well, the salted flavor from uh, the seasonings that I use to season the chicken because I have the um, the drippings from the, the turkey. So that was a little garlic powder. Now I'm adding a little onion powder. And you know, of course, we got to hit it with that black pepper. Makes it pretty, makes it good. All right, so looks like a lot, but trust me, it's not once I start to stir it up. And I'm not using seasoning salt for this. I'm only going to be using a little just a little bit because we can take away I mean we can add but we can't take away and just a dash of this uh, Tony's Creole season not much just a, a pinch basically And guys, if you also don't have the patience to uh, do this step, you can also do a little cheat uh, by adding browning to your uh, your mixture here, your roux, to get that brown color. If you don't have the patience to stand here and keep stirring for, you know, 15 to 20 minutes, that's also okay. But just keep in mind when you add browning, that also has a flavor and it might change the flavor you know, rather than you doing it from scratch, which isn't so bad, but you know, I mean, I just want to give you guys the proper way to do this, uh, this gravy for your fabulous turkey wings that you're going to be baking. All right, guys, so let me go again and uh, let this get a little darker before I add the broth in and I will be right back. All right, guys, so we got it tad bit darker and at this point you want to add your three cloves of garlic if you are going to be using didn't add it earlier because it would have just burned rather than you know give off the great flavor that it's known for so now that it's getting a little thicker it's basically going to infuse it the way that I want it to oh this smells amazing oh my god Garlic always makes a, a difference in, you know, whatever dish you put it in, especially onions as well. Like, they just like so perfect together. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna let this keep going, and this is what it looks like so far. And guys, this isn't lumps. Those are just those garlic, uh, that minced garlic that I cut up earlier that I, you know, just added to it. But guys, I didn't mention this earlier. So also during this process, you're also cooking out the raw flavor of uh, the flour and allowing it to become flavored with, um, you know, your butter, the fat that you use. 
and whatever seasoning that you use. It won't taste like flour. Nobody wants a gravy that tastes like that. Okay guys, so this is as dark as I'm going to allow my root to get. Because remember, turkey and chicken gravy is not supposed to be that dark. Now if I was doing something for like, you know, a gravy for a pepper steak, I would allow this to go a little bit longer. So it has been about 15 minutes. If I let it go another five, it would definitely be darker for a beef gravy. So now what I'm going to do is add my chicken stock that I mixed with the, uh, the drippings from uh, our turkey as it baked. So I'm going to be adding that in there. Whoa, sorry for the shake. I'm gonna give that a mix. And you see how nice, nicely brown that's turning. And our wings, I just looked at them, they are browning up amazingly. So I'm gonna turn this on low and let it go. And also those vegetables that I had on reserve, which are right here, I'm gonna add those in now and let these simmer down into this gravy. So now you have two different textures in there because I'm not gonna allow these to get too, too soft. And you have the ones that I put in earlier with the roux that gave the roux, you know, the, uh, the flavor. It infused the roux. Okay guys, so I'm gonna let this cook a little bit and then we're gonna pour this all over those perfect turkey wings that are in the oven. So here are our wings that have been perfectly baked. So now what I'm going to do is add the gravy that we just made to these wings and then I'm gonna put them back in the oven covered so that they can get infused with this gravy flavor and also become a bit more tender. So the gravy, here it is. I didn't allow it to get too, too thick because as it cooks with the, uh, the wings in the oven, it's going, going to become thicker. So this is the perfect consistency that you would want it to be at. It looks a little looser, you know, through the camera, but you know, in real life, it's a tad bit thicker than the way it looks. So here goes the goodness. Oh man, guys. I wish smell of vision was real. <laughs> One day someone will create it, but this smells amazing. Let me fix that up in here. Get it all through and out. Let it reach the bottom. Move some of these veggies around. Guys, and I didn't have to add anything to the uh, the gravy, it was perfectly seasoned. Because remember, I added the uh, the drippings from the turkey, and you know that had the seasoning from me seasoning our uh, turkey wings earlier. So okay, guys, I'm gonna cover this up and put this in the oven for probably about a half an hour, so this can soak through and become a little thicker, not too thick. You want to still be able to, you know, scoop it and, and drizzle it over things. Alrighty, so I will be right back when uh, this is completed in about a half an hour. All right, my YouTube family, it's about that time. So I just pulled these out of the oven. So let's see what the finished product looks like. I'm sure we're gonna have to stir it around and you know mix it up a little bit. Oh, look at that, look at that, yes. That's exactly the way it should look because it's just been sitting in bacon. So everything is gonna settle. 
Look at the gravy, yeah. So I'm just gonna mix all of this up. We can, you know, just drizzle it over. guys your southern smothered turkey wings with the onion and green pepper gravy and this is amazing I'm sure and it's it definitely smells amazing I cannot wait to taste this all right guys so let's plate this up and see what it tastes like so with these southern smothered turkey wings, I made some steamed white rice and some sweet peas. So let's plate that up right now and see how, see how we did. So here's my steamed rice made to perfection. There's my sweet peas with some, you can see some dried onion. And there's a little salt, pepper, garlic powder. You know, I kept it simple. Not too much. Because the star of the show is the smothered turkey wings. Lay that right on top. Boom. There we go. Should we do one or two? Let's do two. Uh, ah! Man. Maybe we should, we should have just stuck to one. But that's all right. Because we're going to eat that anyway. Let's give it a little extra gravy. See those peppers and onions, guys? This smells good and it tastes good because I already tried the gravy and it was amazing. All of the seasonings blended well, the peppers and onions blended well. You know what? Let me clean this plate up a little bit so I can have the perfect thumbnail for you guys. All right, family, so I cleaned up the plate a little bit. But here is the finished product up close and personal. That looks amazing. Mm. All right, so who's coming over? Who wants some? Who wants some of that? Look at that perfectly seasoned gravy. You can see the specks of pepper. You see all the onions and peppers. My peas, my white rice. All right, so to finalize this, finished plate let's hit it with some food glitter some freshly cut parsley that i just cut up just to make it look pretty and i call that food glitter <laughs> so there we have it all right guys so let's dig in and see what this tastes like all right so let's see how tender this turkey came out, coming right off the bone. Look at that, guys. Still nice and hot. Cooked perfectly. All right, guys, here we go. 
Oh, wow. <laughs> this is freaking good. Wow. Mmm. That is good. That gravy came out perfect. All right, guys. So that's it for this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope that you learned something new. And if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that smash button for a like for me. <laughs> and also hit that notification bell and definitely subscribe to this channel so that we can get ready for this fall and the winter with creating and cooking some of the dishes that we know best, which are some comfort foods. And with that being said, see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.